Friends, I'm Jess. Welcome to the Hex Library, where today we'll be going over my March bullet journal. If you are new here, I do not do actual plan with me's. I just do flip throughs. I'm not the world's biggest fan of plan with me's. However, there is a plan with me for part of what I have in here and we will talk about that when we turn the next page. I decided this month that I wasn't going to do a, a title page, a cover page, a, I don't know, what do you wanna call it? So like February, you know, you've got like this page but there's nothing over here and I never turned back to this page, but I do turn back to this page. So I just decided that I was just gonna do this as my cover page. Uh, these stickers that are of the books and the cats are from Planning with Kay and the green paper is from Archer and Olive from the Winter Pack. I actually love the way this turned out, especially because it was a mess up. I put a different sticker on there and tried to pull it up and ended up just like taking up half of the page with it. And so I was like, I need to cover that hole I left behind. And so I put the green on there and it looks great with these stickers. So I was very happy on a happy accident. Also, I did my my month right this time and I started the week on Sunday instead of Monday like I did with February's, which I never changed. I just left it the way it was. This is my monthly calendar. I typically will, as you can see in February, will put in dates, important things that I need to not forget all of that fun stuff. The next page is for the Storyteller's Hearth Weekend Relay. This is what I did on a live stream on the Storyteller's Hearth channel. I will link in the description box down below. Uh, it's very blurry um, because I haven't figured out how to operate my camera in a way that functions well while doing a live plan with me. So I just need to work on that for the next one that we do. However, this was what I did during that live stream. The Storyteller's Hearth is an event space that I and my friend Sam at Writing Mom Samantha L. Nassett run together. And it started out as a write-a-thon weekend that used to be called the Worldwide Write-a-thon. And we've been branching out a little bit and we're trying to do a few different things and to find all of the aspects in a creator or a writer's world, um, hence the storyteller's hearth. We're trying to involve reading and editing and, and planning and all of those things, as well as just the writing part of it, which was why we did a name change and took a shift change. Why is that important? Well, because if you're here and you're bullet journaling and you're here for that part of it, or if you're a reader and you're here for that part of it, um, the storyteller's hearth weekend relay is March 25th and 26th. And we'll be running sprints from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. on Sunday. So 8 a.m. on Saturday to 8 p.m. on Sunday, basically. And it's hosted by our friends in the community. It's a whole thing. So if you would like to join us for that weekend and hang out and do sprints, you don't have to write. You can read. You can edit. You can do bullet journaling. You can clean your house. Whatever it is that helps you be creative, it's all good. So I just, I, since we're looking at it, I figured I would talk about it for a second. Okay, so I did my schedule over here. Did I write the schedule? Did I write schedule on there? No. Did I write the dates? Also, no. Um, but they will be here. So uh, spots for the date, the time, the type, because there's both productivity sprints and social sprints. So I can write what type of sprint it is and who the host is for that sprint. Also down here at the bottom, I made myself a key. Um, we have moderators during live streams and I am one of the moderators because it is my event. So I moderate some streams. I will most likely have to work this Saturday. And also I do hope to be on screen. Don't know if I will be because I'm not hosting one this round, but hopefully I can join somebody and be on screen. So whenever I have the list filled in of the schedule, I will highlight whatever I need to highlight so I know where I need to be when I need to be there. I made both event goals and writing goals sections, again, using this beautiful green paper that just looks fantastic with these stickers. I'm in love. Um, but I will have event goals and writing goals for the weekend. 
I then have a space for office prep so I can prep all of my office space so I am ready to do all of the things and a meal prep space because I like to meal prep on Thursday, Friday so that I don't have to worry about food over the weekend. And as I said during the live stream when we were doing this, meal prep is like if you want to make super healthy, like be prepared and have like salads and and grilled chicken and broccoli and I don't know, whatever else delicious things you wanna make, you go ahead. If you wanna make sure that your fridge is stocked of frozen pizzas and dino nuggets, that also to me is meal prep. Whatever you can do to set yourself up so that you don't have to spend a whole bunch of time cooking in the kitchen over the weekend and you can spend your time working on the relays, the better. Okay. And then because I do plan to be writing during the event, I put in a sprint tracker. So I have a time, which will be however long the sprint is for, and then what my word count was during that sprint. And I went ahead and highlighted every other one so that I, you know, could keep myself in a line there. Um, on this side, I just used a really light gray pen to color in the lines because I can't highlight them twice. That was the storyteller's hearth part. Next is the reading part. I don't love this as much as I wanted to love this and you'll see why. Okay, so this is my March reading. I should have made this green part all the way to here. I should have because it would have looked better and it wouldn't be so weird when this flap is open. But I was like, no, it'll be fine. It's not fine. I mean, it is, but it's not. Uh, anyway, March reading. So I've got a space for my TBR, my regular TBR, just whatever I plan to read, my group book and challenge TBR. So anything that's for a group book or a challenge that I'm doing this year, a space for March releases, a space for April arcs. I don't know if I have any April arcs, but I definitely am behind on arcs. So there will be plenty to do. Uh, this beautiful sticker from Luna's Library. So this pack is called Luna's Library. It's from Planning with Kay, but the pack is Luna's Library. I believe this black cat is Luna. Pretty sure. Uh, then a spot for all the books that I read in March and a books, a books for all the space I haul. Yep. A space for all the books I haul and then a spot for favorites. If we flip back to February, you know, this page very put together. This page is a mess, girl. Um, I've read a lot of books this month. I actually have to add another one on here. There's no room to add more books on here. I'm gonna have to like come back up to the top and start putting them. I did not expect to read 17 books this month. Um, today is the 21st, so I've got another seven days. Or is it the 22nd? It's the 21st. I've got seven more days. I'm already at 17 books for the month. I'm, am I gonna have to like put them up here and then like start coming to, I don't know. It's a mess, y'all, but yeah. So I, I made myself a lot more space just in case March also is read heavy. Just in case, just wanna be prepared. And then I went again with this setup that I got from Elizabeth at Plant Based Bride. That is, instead of having a to-do list on all of my weeklies, I instead have like a monthly to film, to edit, an admin. My YouTube schedule will go on here. And then on the back side, a spot for habit trackers, the storyteller's hearth tasks that I need to do. I'm still gonna be working on my declutter in March because I'm definitely not gonna be done this month. Um, I've been killing it on my declutter though. So if you are on my close friends circle on Instagram, there's a highlight on my page of all of the declutter. Y'all, I got rid of 336 items of clothing. I didn't know I owned that many items of clothing and my closet's still full, so working on that uh, and then any home tasks. So that's what that is. And then we have my weeklies, which I, I did not cut any tabs in this month. I wanted just like a straight, nice look here. I will probably regret that later. Um, these stickers for the month or the day of the week labels, I should say, are also from Planning with Kay. This is all part of the Luna's Library pack. Uh, this is the 13th through the 19th. 20th through the 26th. These ones are little books. They're so cute. And then this is the 27th through the 2nd. And then we get back to the end of the tasks. So that's it, guys. That's the whole thing. We've got a monthly. We've got our Storyteller's Hearth Weekend Relay. We've got our reading. And then our monthly tasks and daily events. If you are 
uh, a writer or someone who enjoys doing NaNoWriMo, I will be doing a plan with me on the Storytellers Hearts channel live setup for NaNoWriMo next month. I don't know exactly when because I suck at planning my planning, uh, but I will be doing, you know, something similar to this, a setup of my NaNoWriMo in my planner. If you're interested in that, feel free to follow us over on the Storytellers Hearth channel. I will be moving into doing some plan with me's over there for events, writing events like NaNoWriMo or Storytellers Hearth We Can Relay, or maybe some of your guys's events like the 30 hour write-a-thon or the whatever Michael names his his writer town junction things who knows um any events that i actually make a specific page for in my planner um i will be doing live plan with me's over on the storyteller talk channel for that just as like an added something for you guys to hang out with us uh in the event space and even in the future i may invite some of you to join me on screen and we can plan together that is all i have for today i post reading writing book and planner related content a couple of times a week if you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a emoji in the comments down below so that I know that you made it this far and you had a good time. If you don't wanna miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.